I am doing this voice. Oh, what is the giant cat lady doing here? Oh, that is Nixia. That is an entirely different accent. <laughs> it um, sounded kind of like what Nixia would do when she's imitating DM. Honestly. <laughs> oh, I used to be God. I used to use mortals as playthings. <laughs> no, but I am no. disarmed entirely with some tuna and belly rubs. <laughs> <laughs> and I broke a cooper. <laughs> Good tight <take> long. <laughs> oh, I could have missed you next year. She was good crack. All right, so now that we've given time for the ads to go by. <laughs> Last week, we just had some shits and giggles at the opera. And I'm sure Sefi has some things up his sleeve to torment us with. So, Dungeon Master Sefi, would you like to tell us a story? As was just mentioned last week, our party had a fun little afternoon shopping for heading to the opera, learning a great chunk of story that we had revealed in Thursday's game. <laughs> but we left them just after the opera had ended and they were returning to their room in the hotel. And we continue in the hotel room with Squish and Storm together. And I just need to put some music on. I've got to say, I have been you. wondering what Jeremiah has cooked up for the past week. <laughs> He's done something! Oh, you'll see. You'll see. Yeah, it's it. It's it. Everyone's still there, so... You suddenly hear a bit of a knock on the door. Huh. I wonder who that could be. <laughs> and Storm will go and open the door. You open up to see your favourite tabaxi bellboy holding a bucket of champagne and a tray of glasses. I ordered for you, sir. By whom, I wonder? But well, thank you. Uh, it wasn't, sir. It is, it is um, Galarban Vintage, sir. Galarban? Hmm. Good stuff, is it? Uh, yes, sir. It's from... Uh, the uh, Duke's personal vineyard. Yeah, if you said goblin champagne, I wouldn't trust it. <laughs> well, it comes from the Duke's personal vineyard, so it has to be fancy stuff. Ah, thank you very much, lad. Goblins thank don't make much. champagne. And continuing the tradition, the lad gets a whole platinum, because I really like this kid. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you very much, sir. You obviously kind of skips off again <laughs> charming lad charming <laughs> storm joint closes the door heads over to well i believe you got a a sofa or a love seat or some such <laughs> yeah you got like a little lounge area for yeah well squish would you like to crack open the champagne with me <laughs> Uh, yeah, sure, why not? <laughs> and what about the rest of you? Because the party's still here. Yeah, as far as I'm aware. Still there. Yeah, party's still there. I mean, how many glasses were provided? Uh, there's about six glasses there. Oh yeah, so there's enough for everyone. Well, I'm not hearing a no! And Storm pours out a glass of champagne for everyone. I did not anticipate it to go this way, but, um... <clears throat> you say that like you were planning something. Yes, mm. Jeremiah, were you planning something? Uh, not for myself, no. No, <laughs> no. Were you planning something? Well, I think plenty of us were planning something, weren't you, Squish? Uh, what? 
<laughs> also, what's with the hammer? You said to crack open the bottle. Oh no, uh, that won't be necessary. I presume it's got a cork. <laughs> it has yes. a cork. Oh, oh, yeah. okay. Hi. Sorry. Everyone corks the bottle. And pours everyone a glass. I just couldn't resist that joke. <laughs> Being that I'm Dare Cork. Mm hmm. <clears throat> Tastes German. <laughs> what the freak is a German? <laughs> I don't know. I have no idea what she's on about. Something to do with corks. <laughs> <laughs> next, ne next, you're telling me it's all about creatures too. Well, isn't champagne made from creatures? <laughs> no, wait, it's grapes. Ah. I don't really get their appeal. It's just sparkly fruit juice. With alcohol. And tiny bubbles. Well, well if as the lad said, this is Galavan champagne, it's quite expensive. Oh, Gal I thought he said goblin. I got really worried. No, no um... I gotta say, goblins ain't great brewers. <laughs> you never know what might be in the still. So. The silence is real. It's not just the player. Storm himself is, um, kind of tongue-tied. Yeah. Working the champagne. And he, um... Reaches into his pocket and... Well, no one can really see what's in them, but some people might have an idea. <clears throat> and he Jeremiah clears his notices throat. and straightens up. <clears throat> um... Squish? Yeah. I'm not really sure how to go about this, but me and you, we've been through a lot together, and I, I think you know how I feel about you by now. You, me, Bolt, and Midi, I'd like to think we're a family, and I've been tempted for a while to figure out how to go about making that official, and, uh... <laughs> well, I was saving this for, um, after we dealt with Sune, but... after what happened with Bolt, I think there's no better time than the present, and, um... Oh god, you're breaking up with me! Ah! No! 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 Literally, literally the opposite! I... Oh, and Storm just, like, uh, opens... Uh, puts his hand out forward and opens it up, revealing the two, like... Golden, emerald, and sapphire-studded earrings. I, 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 I want to marry you. Will you marry me? Uh, Sammy, you told? Uh, <laughs> Turn and look at Sammy. Not exactly. He told when he realized that I was planning to propose to you. Apparently, we were thinking the same thing at about the same time. <laughs> I'm very nervous. <laughs> well, you know what they say about great minds. They think alike. Where did you get those? They're so shiny. Uh, you know me and Jeremiah went off earlier. We picked them up at the jewelers. <laughs> oh. I really didn't consider what you guys were doing. Well, I kind of went out and got some things too. <laughs> and Squish will pull out just a, big, a little pouch full of the powdered silver. <laughs> ah. Now, I, I'm, I'm no expert on this, but uh, this is um, clerical magic, yes? <laughs> 
Sanyo? Yes, it is. Well... Sammy said he needed this for... for it to work. <laughs> uh, it's funny, I, I thought, um... These were originally meant to just be engagement rings, but looks like they're going to be wedding rings. <laughs> well, <sighs> it's your call in the end, Squish. I made my proposal. You clearly had your own intentions, so... What say you? I'm not entirely sure what just happened. Uh, Me neither! I'm kind of winging it! <laughs> the, the, uh... Is this, is this thing we have to do, like, fight trolls now or something? Ooh. <laughs> you know, beat trolls. Oh, you mean betrove. <laughs> yeah! Like, do, we, do we have to go fight trolls now? <laughs> <laughs> no. I believe, uh... If you just allow me to attach the earring, you attach mine, then Samuel can perform the ceremony and that'll be it. <laughs> um, Storm? Yes, uh, Jeremiah? Try your other pocket. My other pocket? Yes. I think you still have something in there. That you might want for the ceremony. Uh, you still got the real rings. The real rings? You had you had your regular rings, didn't you? That's the player talking right now. I know, I know. The player is also a bit confused. As far as I'm aware, I only have engagement rings. The only other rings I have are yeah. the rings of anchorage. You you have the earrings and you have the regular e engagement rings. You it's just the use case. the ear. Pardon? Sorry, Seth, am I misunderstanding something? No, you have both sets of rings. Oh! Yeah! Oh, okay, thank you. I I misunderstood entirely. And this is my, sh my fucking gambit, Jesus. <laughs> Which is why Jeremiah was just talking about the other pocket. Oh, oh, right. <clears throat> I also have uh, more traditional rings right here, Squish. And Storm reaches into his other pockets. You know, uh, Jeremiah kind of made me think that, you know, you might not want rings all the time when you're punching things. Oh, pretty. Yeah, I really wanted to get the best for you. <laughs> Jeremiah and the jeweler kind of had to rein me in. <laughs> yeah. That sounds like an impressive feet little... reining you in. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you, you do it every night. <laughs> well. <laughs> Squish is turning bright red. <laughs> She's not the only one. I mean, Jeremiah. Sorry. Kitty, Kitty boy is like red in the face. He's got a big nervous grin. His tail's twitching. He's getting extra poofy. Yeah. Oh, let's get these rings on, shall we? <laughs> well, I don't know. Uh, did they put the rings on before or after uh, your ceremony? Ask the cleric. <laughs> I have no idea. Well, I never thought I'd get married. <laughs> I don't know what it is. <laughs> what? That's kind of an important thing. <laughs> well, all I know is it means that we get to stay together forever, so that'll do. <laughs> oh. 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 You can no, just see, like, storm is... melting on the inside. It's like, my heart! No, now, Squish. Squish. Huh? Yeah? I, I have to ask you something, because I know how you see things. Do you think it's a literal... It's going to be literal? Like, no matter what, like, I won't... Like, do you think it's going to make me immortal or something? I hadn't considered that. 
No. Well, uh, do you think it's going to make me live as long as you? Uh, I don't think marriage has that kind of power. Okay, okay. I just wanted to make sure you understood. Because it's more like a promise and a, uh, like a pull that will keep us together no matter how far apart we become. So, like, it's like Earth and Sky, you know? You don't see, like, the sky running away from the Earth now, do you? It's always there. They're always together. Oh, well, yeah, that's because it's pinned down right behind the horizon. <laughs> it's something like that. It's like... You can't... Uh, the, if you had have land and you have the sea, they don't break apart. They're always with one another. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but I think they've got a really rocky relationship. The sea keeps going away and coming back. It's so unhealthy. <laughs> All yes, I but, really but, but, know from what... Sorry. Sorry, Ardith. I didn't want to interrupt you. Well, Ola did show me this book, and it frankly confused the hell out of me. Oh, what what was the book about? Uh, some sort of fairy tales, some sort of giant dresses involved, and we have to make Squish look like a meringue for some reason. No! <laughs> no, we don't need to do that. That is more along the lines of what is a very, very traditional wedding. I imagine there are some bars. I'm sorry. No. I imagine there are some bars. <clears throat> oh, sorry, my throat was all full of yuck. I imagine there are some bars that would really love a wedding like that, but we don't need that. We just need the ceremony. Okay. I did find it strange, I have to admit. The important part is the ceremony itself. A lot of people just like to make it extra special, fancy, and grand. But that won't be necessary for us, because every day I have a squish is the best day of my life. <laughs> ah. Hey, I ain't exaggerating. You, um... You told me it's never too late to start living. Yeah. And that means everything to me. She's sitting there with a big beaming smile on her face. Aww. Right, now that we've straightened out the details... I, I, let's do this thing! Do you want to do it right now, or do you want to do it in the morrow? Uh, Squish doesn't... No. Squish wants us to be together forever. Let's start forever now. What? I don't I was going to say... There's a time limit on this. I have no idea. But I was going to say, shouldn't... Wouldn't you wait for Bolt to be here? Oh! Yes! Family! Yeah, many! Whole family has to be together! <laughs> Sorry, I got kind of carried away in the moment. Mm. Again, I'm very nervous! <laughs> Once you all are ready, I can perform the ceremony. Ah, thank you, Samuel. Thanks a whole lot, friend. Yeah. He's very, very grateful for you. <laughs> what time is it now, Seth? Uh, it's coming to around 10 p.m. Okay. Right, I guess then... Uh, I mean, it wouldn't do to disturb Bolt so late in the day. Uh, it might be past Mitty's bedtime, too. Yeah. Okay, we'll check up on Bolt in the morning and... <laughs> Is this like one of those magical things where we have to do it within a certain amount of time? No, 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 not at all. Oh, no, God. but uh, you want to make that promise and you don't want to forget about it, so... 
I think it'll be very hard to forget about Storm. Ah, oh, shucks. Uh, I'm not talking about Storm, I'm talking about the promise. That is, marriage. Is, isn't that what these are for? And Squish, like, points towards the, the rings and the earrings. That is exactly what they're for. And there's definitely no trolls, right? No, no trolls. trolls whatsoever. Oh, okay. Unless you want that to be. <laughs> now, where can we get a troll this late on a Saturday night? <laughs> uh, you want me to check with the front desk? Mm. Now, this is a fancy hotel, but I don't think they provide that kind of thing. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe an elf. Jeremiah but, just no. blinks. Not a troll. No, I'm pretty certain they wouldn't be able to provide a troll. Mm. <laughs> no matter how much you tip that little tabaxi guy. <laughs> yes. And the well, that's fair. Front desk has been very helpful, too, I have to admit. Okay, so I'm going to hold on to this for now, and Squish will put the random bag of silver back in her pouch. Yeah, we'll do that later when we have Bolt back on his uh, on his talons. Yeah, that'll look. Yep, talons. Make it mini. <laughs> <laughs> right. Well then, everyone, I guess it's time for you all to be off the bed, unless you want to see me put on the bunny suit. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Adam quickly sinks her champagne. <laughs> off, to my, off, off, off to my room. Off to my room. Yeah. Yeah, bye, Ardith. Uh, Boy, I, I bet, guess Ardith's in a rush to put on the bunny suit herself. <laughs> uh, Orla's still back at the ship. After all, she's taking care of the kids. Oh, oh she's doing she a wonderful job on. of it. Well, <clears throat> I'll uh, leave you to to it. Uh, and again, thanks for lending me the money earlier today. Well, well and thank you, Jeremiah, for yeah. everything. Don't mention it. And Just Jeremiah. did. <laughs> it's a saying. <laughs> and Jeremiah heads out and, uh, with the spring in his step, actually, uh, goes to his room. Aww. Okay, and I see, and, uh, I see. What's the mail doing? Uh, he's going back to the ship. Uh, Samuel, we have rooms here. Right. I forgot. <laughs> yeah, Storm bought a room for all of you. And he's, he's like money bags right now. <laughs> and he's headed back to his room. Sleep well, Samuel. You all settling for the night, get nice and cozy. Um, I'd like everyone to roll me a d20, please. Into Dasting. That's a four. D20. Nine. Okay. Six. Okay. <laughs> Ardiff is the first to wake up. Um... Then Storm and Squish, Bob and Jeff, and Samuel bring up the rear. Yeah. Prince Bun Bun goes hop hop all night long. <laughs> he still got the rabbit ears on. <laughs> Sorry, I have to share this now. <laughs> oh no. What have I done? <laughs> I have no idea. Uh, what, uh... 
Keep going, keep going. It's gonna be on the player chat. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <sighs> Come on, Squish, it's the big day. Nudge, nudge. I'm awake. I'm awake. <laughs> Don't make Mr. Prince Bun Bun bounce on the bed. You did that enough last night. <laughs> and you loved every moment of it. Yes, I did. And he's just going to nuzzle right into her neck and give her smooches all over. <laughs> <laughs> Your whiskers tickle. Down the right, they do. They're your whiskers. Every inch of me is all yours and then some. Oh, knock, knock. I think I hear someone retching in the next room. <laughs> knock, knock. Oh no, that's just knocking. <laughs> uh, let's get some calls on. always saying knock, knock. Probably. He is an odd one, isn't he? Yeah, <laughs> but very... a good friend. <laughs> I don't I don't have a piece of wood that I could uh, literally create the sound with. That's no excuse, Jeremiah! <laughs> Okay. <laughs> so Storm will get dressed in a hurry. It's probably a bit slapdash. Because, you know, these wild kids, you know, their clothes end up everywhere. <laughs> I presume Squish is getting dressed as well? Yes. Yes, he is. Good. Alright, so Storm will open the door then once we're all ready. Good morning! Good morning, sunshine. You're still oh. wearing the rabbit ears, by the way. Oh, shoot, I knew I forgot something. Look, <laughs> Tom hurriedly takes them off and stows them away. I was gonna see Those how are for nighttime place. fun. <laughs> you know, if it wasn't mentioned, you probably wouldn't have noticed all day. <laughs> You're a sports well, yeah. <laughs> So you up and re you ready for the big day? Oh boy, am I! I mean, not only do the do we get to see Bolt again, but Bolt's gonna get a new mom officially. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, however, we should start breakfast when once uh, Sammy's up. Um. I mean, he's, he's been uh, still a little bit out of it. Uh, <laughs> no reaction you know, we should Sammy really up. do something. No oh, hi, Sammy. Oh, you sleep morning, okay? Sammy. Yeah, I slept all right. Good. Glad to hear it. I believe all we're missing now is Ardiff, unless I'm mistaken. I'm here already. Ah. Excellent, the gang's all here. Hi, Ardith. Did you all sleep well? You seem a bit drowsy. Uh, I'm fine. Still not quite used to the whole sleeping thing. Uh, I find it very relaxing, but uh, then again, I might be a weirdo. Ardith? Weirdo, he, weirdo, he says. It's amazing that I even get sleep at all. <laughs> Ardith, are you wearing a bunny tail? Ardith just blinks. <laughs> uh, Jeremiah just <laughs> cautiously, lo cautiously looks, and no, she's she not. is not. <laughs> <laughs> I was hoping there was going to be some fumbling improv, but no. My shenanigans have been denied. <laughs> don't, don't worry, don't worry, Jenna. Sooner or later, Ardith will slip off and come out with like Roll. part of the bunny suit still on. <laughs> Roll an insight check. Sure. Inside. You know what? Let me join in the inside fun. Yeah, she just doesn't seem to be reacting at all. Hey. Stone-faced. 
Boy, this lot could really use breakfast by the looks of things, eh, Squish? <laughs> so stony-faced. Yeah, me too, I'm ravenous. Okay, you all make your way downstairs to the restaurant. To and... the restaurant. I'm sorry. The restaurant. Yes. Oh god, he's turned into a snooty Frenchman. <laughs> No, I'm too usual tabaxi. Oh, I like our usual tabaxi. I don't like this one. <laughs> now, this is Lloyd Grossman from Master Shelf. <laughs> if you remember him. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was just me. You make your way down to the restaurant, and the tabaxi bellboy kind of shows you to your table, scootles off, and. The way to come, it basically comes back to take your orders. Well, they're making hey. that by work 24 hours a day, apparently. Oh, no, so it's uh, the end of my shift ends in an hour. Well, yeah, but you've been here pretty much uh, all day yesterday as well. Oh, no, no, I was. Uh... I tend to work uh, six while ten. But it's only about three or four days a week, so. He's a part timer! <laughs> no, it's full time. Works out. Oops! Fairly decent number of hours during the week. But a respectable place that has set full time hours. The dream. <laughs> 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 Steering away from reality for a moment. <laughs> I didn't say they're all on the, on the same days every week. Shift work. Anyway. Even in fantasy worlds. <laughs> I assume we have a yeah. quick breakfast. Yep. You all <laughs> order your quick breakfast. Is yeah, I want, I want a fancy equivalent of the full Irish. And you shall receive. Uh, we, as... call, we call it the full Irish. <laughs> as the he's... <laughs> breakfast. Mm. As these beautiful breakfasts are brought to you, they're offered teas and coffees, the usual stuff. Oh, yes. I have the finest tea available. <laughs> That was a good you, are, you are brought the finest Australian teas. Ooh. <laughs> you know, far be it for me to put upon the DM, but I'm curious. How does Australian tea taste? Like drop bears. Very spicy. Yes, that's what I thought. Oh, who needs coffee? Let's have some Australian tea. I'll put a spring in your step. I'm not allowed <laughs> to drink coffee. Try the tea then. Oh, okay. The monks, <laughs> say, the monks say it was a bad idea to give me coffee. Something about claw marks on the rafters? I don't know. <laughs> mm. Mm. A perception check, please. Sure. Everyone or just squish? Uh, anyone who's paying attention. <laughs> well, there is that guy drinking yeah. acerola juice. Uh, sorry, uh, you can... sorry, perception. Sorry. Yep, perception. There we are. That's a little better. Well, <laughs> I'll tell you what. I'll let you have this with passive perception, whichever's higher. But yeah, you can all hear the Dragon Ball chef going, RAW! <laughs> <laughs> you notice. Actually, this one I will take for the higher one perception check. One second. This time. Right. Oh. Ooh, yes. Storm. Hi. And. Yep, yeah, Storm. You notice a red-headed woman with a large hat sitting quietly by herself in the corner. Oh no. 
Do I even need to make a religion check to put two and two together? Uh, I don't think so. Wouldn't you I see her by her nature? Check. Sorry, what was that, Seth? I would say roll an intelligence check. Okay. Oh, eight. My head is full of lovely thoughts. Yeah, as far as you know, this is just some random woman. Okay, okay. Point, um, point B then. You gave Storm, or rather Aquanauts gave Storm, the ability to see through godly disguises. Mm. Yes, this... I did. And I still just see a red-haired lady. No, you do not. You see a burning heart with a, fl a heart-shaped flame Ooh. coating this woman, essentially. Okay. <laughs> so, Thorb is going to slowly put down his cup of tea, lead forward, also slightly, and in a hushed voice, just just loud enough for hopefully the party to hear. Everyone, we have a guest. It seems Sune no, himself. Hey, still, roll the stealth check for me, please. Yeah, good luck stealthing from a god, but I will try. <laughs> Night! <laughs> yeah, she hasn't no Nobody's noticed. Okay. They're all too busy eating and various things. We have a guest. It seems Sune herself has graced us with her presence. She's in the corner over there. Uh, Storm will just subtly, like, jerk his head over. Uh, what do we do? Well, um, maybe we could lose her somewhere. Lose Sune. Hmm. Well, uh, we've all, uh, Eaten up, haven't we? Everyone's had their fill. Yeah. Let's try and slip away, shall we? Okay. And uh, to help with that, I will cast Pass Without a Trace. <laughs> okay. If everyone can roll stealth, please. And everyone gets a plus ten. Well, are we just waiting for a waiter to go past for those big... Uh... <laughs> One of those big serving tables, and we just all duck <laughs> under. I can't believe I used Pass of Our Trace to stealth out of a restaurant to hide from the Goddess of Love. <clears throat> this is uh, quite the campaign. <laughs> yeah, yeah. it would just be to uh, avoid paying the bill. <laughs> yeah. You all are able to sneak past having left some money on the table to pay for breakfast. <laughs> I presume, um, okay, roughly how much do you think that would be? Because, yeah, Storm will cover that. Uh, I'd say for the five of you, cost, uh, call it a platinum? Yeah. Um, so Storm just leaves a platinum behind. And you're able to sneak out pretty handily. Good. <laughs> right, well then. Move us onto the map screen. Okay. We should probably uh, get the boys and then get yes. this over and done with, hmm? Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll head back to the ship you go and uh, see how... Bolt is doing, and we meet at the train station, I guess. That'll work! I ain't gonna let Sune overshadow our big day. Mm -mm -mm. That ain't gonna happen. Yeah. Maybe take a few of the back alleys. Most definitely. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Pass about Trace lasts for an hour anyway, so we should be good. Okay. Uh, quick question. The yeah. leather work I commissioned, would that be ready or def definitely not? Yes, it would. It's, I, 
It would, and you're going down the same street, so... Okay. Then I shall uh, tug on Storm's tail, ask him to wait while I duck in and get stuff. Quick second. One second. We shall review that. Uh, actually, on second yep. thought, Storm, I might need you to help you carry some of this. Okay, I'm coming in then. Okay. You make your way inside, and the love work is kind of still working on a few little bits. Yes. Ah, morning. Uh, hi. Do you, do you have the things I asked for? Yeah, yeah, sure. One second. He kind of watches he ducks down behind the counter, and he comes back up with a key, leading you over to the special work room where he's been working on your special order. There you go, what do you think of that? Ah, perfect. It's beautiful black leather armor set. And of course the little set for bolts as well. <gasps> she, she commissioned a little leather jerkin for bolt. And both of them have uh, similar intricate patterns on the edges of the armor. There's like the, the stitched silver lines, just to make them look. Oh like my them. god! So Storm is kind of a game. Is is that is that for Bolt? Are these for the boys? Both of them? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> They're gonna love it. Oh. <laughs> And seeing as we have the money, they may as well look presentable, and maybe this will help protect Bolt in future. Yeah, yeah. I was kind of thinking of something like this myself, so, again, like you said, great minds think alike. Yeah. The storm is like, pre like kind of getting choked up. Oh. Uh, he, he basically scoops Squish up and gives her a big squeeze. No. Yeah. I love you so fucking much. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, all right. All right. I'll let you down. I'll let you down. Yeah, right. uh, I'll I'll take Bolt's thing. Are you okay to carry minis? Oh yeah, it's the least I can do. He says as he wipes his eyes and sniffs. <laughs> okay. Minis are both able to. He needs a bigger clothes. <laughs> okay. You make your way further down the road towards Phoenicia's home. Take it, are you going to knock on the door? Oh, yeah, I was about to ask. I, yeah, Storm will knock at the door. Okay, Phoenicia kind of opens the door slowly. Just goes, ah, he's just in, you're just in time. Ah, is Bolt feeling uh, like his old self? Why don't you come in and ask him? I would love to. Thank you. Storm will head in. Yep, you walk inside and you can see Storm perched on his little... I said little, his perch. Generally looking pretty good. Uh, even notice the slight, you even notice the slight red tinge to his feathers. Well, hey, Bolt, you're looking better than ever, buddy. Bolt nods. <laughs> hey, Bolt, I got you something fancy. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. Show him the goods. And Squish will show him the fun, fancy little jerkin. Hmm. He flaps down, he flaps over to you and nuzzles against you. He's a good boy, it's uh, good to see you're good. Here, yeah. let's try it on. <laughs> and Squish okay. will put it on. Okay, you put it on him. He admires himself in the nearest mirror. <laughs> ah. That's my yeah, boy. He's he knows he's purdy. Now more than ever. And it's moments like this we remember that he is the same size as Squish. 
Yep, he's a big boy. <laughs> Thick burb. <laughs> so, so, um... technically wore his armor. <laughs> <laughs> so, question. Does this change Bolt's AC at all? He gains a plus one to his AC. That is fair. His AC is pretty good anyway. <laughs> Okay. With Burr Bomber. Right, well, it's a good thing Bolt knows who is, who is, who is there, who his mama is, so, uh, son, my boy. Ah. Get him. <laughs> Storm's gonna crouch down and just extend his arm for Bolt to hop up onto. He will do so. Yep. And he stands back up. So, ah, uh, if you he's just, he still can't get over what's happening. Long story short, Bolt, me and Squish, your goblin mama, are going to get married today, as soon as possible. I presume you, you're okay with that? Yeah, he's nodding and making affirmative calls. Yeah. Excellent! Okay! Right! And, uh, if Storm turns to Phoenicia, and he's fit to go, like, he's fine, happy, healthy, he's okay oh, to yes, leave? He's, yes, he's perfectly fine. Okay! Whew! I hope you had fun with your lovely lady friend, Bald. <laughs> yeah, you definitely did! If you're anything like me, you had a ton of fun. Plenty of snuggles, to pull it lightly. Ah. I bet he kept you, like, fine company as well, dear lady. Oh, of course he did. <laughs> right then. Time to, time to do a, uh, time to get married. Can't believe it's happening. It's happening, I feel like there was a lot of incognito in that, uh, in that conversation. Squish, it's me. You know there is. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> um, my lady, uh, if you if you like, if you're interested, you're welcome to attend the ceremony as well. You're part of the family too. It would certainly be interesting. Ah, right, fantastic. Uh, well, if you're all ready to go, let's go meet up with the others. Okay. Disclosure! Yeah. Full disclosure. We might have the goddess of love lurking around. We kind of slipped away from her, but I thought you should know. Oh, it's unusual, but it's not something, it's not, it's not something we can't deal with later. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she has something of a vested interest in me and Squish. I would be careful. Oh yeah, believe me, like, we've been, like, planning and fretting and being wary of Sune since she first appeared on our radar, which feels like a long time ago now. Like, how long I'd has it been? <laughs> I'd say as you're having this conversation, she's locking up. Yeah. <laughs> really though, above game. Out of all the threats in this campaign, Sune has been the most um looming. <laughs> mm -hmm. She's been on the back of, in the back of her mind the whole time. Yep. And soon <laughs> she's going to strike. <laughs> Alright. So I presume we're meeting up with the others then. Huh? Yeah. You make your way back towards Ark. Uh, you get on board. All and Anarchy and Middy are kind of sat in the kitchen. Ah, okay. Hi, Middy. Oh. Hey, Middy, Middy, Middy. Look who's back. And Bolt just kind of swoops in and just tackle hugs his little bro. Oh, that's oh, the bird can. Oh, mm. that, looks yeah. that, look, that looks fancy. Uh, what so was that, Seth? Take some time. Yeah, high five. Oh, yes! 
So Chris is just going to take some time to fuss over Mitty and get him into his, his new armor. And just basically make sure he's been a good boy. Yeah, all this, all this he's been quite well. He's been very well behaved. Spent most of his time jumping around in the treasure room. But <laughs> yeah, he's been well behaved. Oh, you made a little fort of the money. Oh, that's so sweet. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta say, like, Squish isn't the only one fussing over midnight. Bolt's being extra especially attentive. He missed his bro. <laughs> He's very, he's very sweet on the little guy. Well, little. <laughs> In air quotes. You know, Squish, maybe you should uh, let Midi know what's happening today. Uh, yeah. Uh, hey, Midi. Yeah. I remember when I talked to you the other day about how you'd like Storm to be your daddy? Uh -huh. Well, we're gonna go do it. Go get married, and that means it'll be official. <laughs> Doesn't that sound fun? <laughs> yeah, just see Midi wrap his wings around Storm. Oh! <laughs> I think you yeah. like that idea. <laughs> yeah! Just a little, oh my god, because I don't know how much my heart could take today. Oh. Storm just like hugs Midi back. As big, as big, the biggest hug he can. Oof. I love you, boys. You're both the best sons any father could have. Oh. <laughs> oh, God damn it! It's actually getting to me. The player. Aww. <laughs> well then. So um. What do we do? Uh, well, I believe the big question is, do we do it here, or do we try to be more, uh, secretive about it? Well, we're in our own ship that's disguised. How much more secret could we get? Hmm. It may be a good idea. Storm yeah. thinks to himself that it's probably not going to stop Sune if she really wants to attend, but FUCK Sune! She's not going to ruin today! <laughs> so, if, he will say... If you want me to, I can probably ask... We can probably ask uh, Ark to... Um... Set up... His room uh, to look like a chapel or something. Ah. Uh. If you want that. No! Nah, I think we require that. Besides, I, I'm a sailor, and ship uh, is that'd like. That would be cool. <laughs> was that anarchy? Yeah, that was anarchy. Well, it's the captain ship. <laughs> yeah, Coolness it is. Just watches anarchy just kind of runs off to get things uh, prepared. Well, I guess we're having it on the ship, regardless. <laughs> no. Realize oh, it's good to see you, uh, ma'am. Looking to uh, a phoenix in disguise. Indeed, it's a very interesting vessel. Uh, what are you saying there, Sammy? Um, just realized, technically speaking, anarchy could marry you too. Please! <laughs> yeah! She's the, cap she's the captain. She could, yeah. but it's anarchy! I don't think... I don't think she'd really know how. Do you? And she'd probably like... Yeah. Good! Kiss her! You're married! Hooray! Go share cuties! <laughs> <laughs> you know, I get the feeling that maybe, um... Dad wanted to marry us, Squish. <laughs> but, hey... We are living in a now, and he is not here. Uh, Truthfully, doesn't. Uh, oh him. yeah, 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 yeah. I get you. I get you. Well, it's, it's not like we can't have a bigger ceremony at a more appropriate time. Ooh, tempting. You know, uh, 
Not gonna lie. There's plenty of people I wish could be here. Waves. Captain Dad, you know, Barrelborn. <sighs> Granny. All the other kittens from Ocean's Bounty. But, uh... Your sister, <sighs> Little Green. <laughs> yeah, I'd be meaning to mention that. I don't think your sister even knows... Well, she probably knows we're dating. Because, you know... Dad's a tabaxi, and we're not very good at keeping our traps shut. But once we're married, it's probably good to let her know. If you really want to, we, we could wait. No, no, let, let's do it come. now. You, you sure? You seem kind of upset that your dad's not here. No, no, he'll understand. As I said, Squish, we could always have a... More elaborate ceremony later. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, so, sort, of, sort of an official ceremony rather than a God's only ceremony, if you get my drift. Alright, well, if you're okay with that storm. Don't get me wrong, I'm not upset at all. It's just I just can't help but think of how nice and happy, how happy Battleborn would have been to have met you all. I'm sure that wherever he is now, he's very, very pleased. <laughs> You're frankly all the best thing that could have ever happened to me. Especially you, Swish. This is the player asking, but Barrelborn wasn't the one who uh, was a warlock of Aquinox, right? No. no. Okay. That would be Salt. <laughs> yep, that's Salty. Because I was going to say, if he was, it was like, why didn't you ask Aquinox to talk to him? Because <laughs> he, the contract is to serve him for a hundred years. <laughs> no, it's the one who was a, who was a, a captain of the guard. I believe. Yep, he was. <laughs> damn fine man, damn damn fine man. <laughs> that, All right. That, so that's the player remembering stuff without checking the documents. Why do we need to <clears> do something? <throat> Uh, I'm trying to kind of show this off the cuff, so just bear with me. No worries. <clears throat> <laughs> Improvise. Ah, my worst skill, unless I'm DMing. <laughs> Welcome to the to the improv wedding ceremony. Oh shit! Where'd it go? There it is. So, Femi will reach into his bag and pull out his prayer book, and then um, okay, just double check. Everybody can hear me now, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Uh, oh, just, just, okay. just, the, the character's just asking, should we go? Uh, into Ark's chamber, so... Um... Yes. Yes, <laughs> everybody inside. Inside. Okay. Okay. Don't have to tell me twice! Boop. You all make your way into Ark's root control chamber. He's basically prepared it to produce these beautiful crystal pillars. It's really lovely, and I can't find the appropriate image for it. Just just use the garden again. Ooh, Not quite the same thing. <laughs> use the garden, turn it upside down. <laughs> oh. Anyway. Everybody wants to congregate around the table, at least. <laughs> uh. is it, is hey, this is isn't it? Hmm? Yeah, he's basically just modified it to look much bigger, much more impressive. All these glistening crystal pillars is like a little altar air, altar setup. I trust Mr. Samuel that the room meets your expectations. Oh, anything's fine. This is a rather informal ceremony. But yes, it is very beautiful. I'm 
that I could provide. Well, then. The, the NPC and the NPC character. Keep rolling. So pull them. Pull them. <laughs> what do I do? <laughs> Sparkly! <laughs> it's the power of love! So. Yeah. Now Sammy pulls his prayer book out of his bag, opens it, and kind of flips through some pages. So, we're all gathered here today to witness the union of Storm by the Sea and... Storm upon the sea. Storm upon the sea. Shut up. Storm upon the sea and squish. I really wish I had something poetic to say, but my brain is dead. Now no, our cuteness has killed Sammy. <laughs> no. Um, the first of many to fall. <laughs> their bond is one that has grown very quickly, but will last for a long time. Ah. <sighs> This is rather informal. Um, in, wit in witness today, we have friends and allies alike. Would the two lovers be like to express their love to each other? Yes, we will. To give, to give Icy a break. Oh, bless your heart, man. <laughs> well, Squish. <laughs> as I'm sure you've realized by now, as a tabaxi, I could talk all day and all night about what you mean to me and the impact you've had on my life. Hell. I even told you some of it just now, before I started this. And I'm loath to repeat myself more than necessary. But... My gods... I was not living before I met you. <laughs> I didn't even think I was worthy of love. Didn't think I deserved it at all. Even though I was surrounded by it, I just couldn't see it. I pushed it away. But the moment I met you, something changed. It changed when I met all of you. But seeing how much you loved Midnight, I, I lived my bolt, like, I left my bolt. It stuck with me. And like I said earlier, you gave me reason to finally start properly living. You showed me it's never too late. And instead of keeping myself mired in the past and thinking the worst of myself and everything around me, you helped me enjoy what's in front of me. <laughs> Granted, that may have worked too well. I've been a bit manic here and there, but... You've just... You've really helped me enjoy every living moment, and I... Hope I get to enjoy every single other moment from here on out with you for as long as possible. Everything I've done has been for you, and it always shall be for you. Because, goddammit, I will live my life to the fullest with you and for you. 
I'm starting to get to the point where I'm rambling. So I'll just wrap up with... I friggin' love you, you gorgeous goblin gal. My little emerald. He just sheepishly grins and looks down a bit like, oh boy. <laughs> I'm Hammy. <laughs> Hi, Hammy, I'm dead. <laughs> Not now, Jeremiah. God. <laughs> uh, no, no, that does not happen. I Squid. didn't say anything. And player banter. Let the players banter. Um, <laughs> as Storm is talking, Squish's eyes have just been welling up. And now there's just these massive little tears like, going down her cheeks. She's got this, this big shit and grin on her face. Like, oh, uh, uh, well, uh, I don't know how to follow that up. <laughs> Uh, I didn't really have much before I met him. I didn't really think about anything beyond the day. Uh, and then I, 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 I got met and then I started thinking about the future. And, and then I met you. And, yeah, you saw how much trouble I was having with that. Realizing that I wasn't going to be around for the little guy. And you didn't even hesitate to give up a, a really powerful spell to help me. And I, 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 I guess that kind of selfishness, self, self, selflessness, I, I, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> You're, oh. Uh... Storm himself, he, he, he's tearing up and crying at this point. <laughs> and he's just going to say, you're doing just fine. You're doing perfectly. <laughs> yeah. I guess no one's really put me ahead of anyone else before. Well, a lot of people before I met this group just kind of treated me like a, like a pest or a pet. I... Guess you a lot, and especially Storm started treating me like an actual person. Uh, well, thank you all for that. And Storm taught me that there's a lot more to this world than just the next meal or something shiny. And I don't want that to go away. So I guess this is what this is for. I don't want to go without my storm. I like my new family. And I understand that uh, friends can grow apart and leave, but I guess <laughs> husbands are <laughs> <laughs> there forever, right? Forever and ever, my squish. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like that. And that's what you shall have. Such beautiful words and such beautiful dedication to each other. And the two lovers now exchange their rings. Hell yeah. So both sets of rings are brought out, and Storm gets down as low as he can, so, you know, Squish can do her part. He hands her, like, her, like, um, well, he hands her a earring and a ring. And while he attaches her earring and slips on a ring on her finger. The, uh, the player's legit! He choked up <laughs> the wedding ring over her finger <laughs> and yes the whole time storm is still like teary eyed and grinning like a doofus and all the sides of a flustered blushing kitty are there <laughs> I'm thinking I'm thinking oh god it's too much. It's too sweet. 
Oh, We're dear. dying of saccharin. <laughs> yep. Um, uh, Squish will do the same. Just kind of tug Storm so he leans down so she can <laughs> get the earring in and push the little ring on and just give him a little cheeky smile. <laughs> Got it. You then watch as Sammy. Uh, let me double check the ceremony spell. <laughs> this crash takes an hour to cast. Well, it's like the entire ceremony. The, the ceremony itself is the spell. Oh, hi, Lucy. Lucy, I just alphabetized those cards. Oh, for fucks. Part of me misplaced that as alphabetized. Um, Fight your alphabetization, mother. Um, I'm sorry. So you then watch as Sammy takes the bag of powder silver, and I'm not sure how this is supposed to work. Work exactly. I'm just making this up. Go for it. Takes a hand, pours some into his hand, and takes both of their hands and holds in him in his, making sure the silver touches both of them. In the name of Bahamut, I now pronounce you man and wife. And then he takes the silken ribbon and gently loops it. Twice over their wrists. Silken ribbon shifts and morphs, the silver reacting with it to form a small form of a silver colored gold dragon. You are now married. And this is the part that I do this. And Storm just sw like, kind of swoop in and spin squish around. And, you know, he's giving her a big smooch as his tradition. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Right on the goblin lips. Teeths be damned. <laughs> Super smooch time. And Squish will lean to the kiss. <laughs> and she'll do that little thing that she thinks is supposed to be done at weddings where she'll like put up one little leg like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. On oh, this, like, this, like, kiss is held for as long as possible. In fact, Squish gets, uh, like, a message, like, through a wake and vine. And it's just sort of like, uh, just, just give me a tap if you need oxygen, okay? I just kind of want to enjoy this. <laughs> I was going to say, I just don't. I was going to say, you could just quickly like, kind of have like a hasty, simple bouquet of whatever was available. Yes. If Squish honest, understood the uh, tradition of the bouquet, she would immediately just throw it at Bolt <laughs> or Phoenix <laughs> Lady. <laughs> oh, who's okay. going to get it? <laughs> <laughs> Squish, I think you're meant to throw that while you're not facing them. Uh, uh, better, but I want this one to happen. <laughs> Squish, I think it'll happen. Whether you throw it to them or not. I'll tell you what. Roll me... Let's see who else is in the room. <laughs> well, well There's a very no, marry, no marrying the, the children. <laughs> well, we're not going to count anarchy. <laughs> Let's see. 
I like to imagine, like, if Anarchy did try to go for it, like, Storm would send her an awakened mind to her quickly go, No, don't Anarchy, it has cooties! <laughs> yeah, probably a D6. Go on. I can do that. Do we even have a bouquet? <laughs> it's made up of whatever was lying around, so it's stuff like wheat sheaves and things like that. Cod, cob. <laughs> <laughs> it's whatever was available. <laughs> um, why didn't okay. I catch this? Uh, no, I just need one second to just check. <laughs> and... I also yes. want to point out to Sefi. Yeah. This was the music that was played in the background of my sister's wedding voice. Bloody hell. <laughs> <laughs> I no, I chose this at random. <laughs> it took me ages to try and think where did I know this from, and then it just hit me. Well, this will be an interesting story to tell. Tell her about it. You know, it as the bouquet flies through the air and hits all in the chest. Oh! Squish will do that little like clockwork turn of the head with a big grin and look at Arna. <laughs> and when Arna I looks at Squish, so... Squish is just gonna waggle her eyebrows. <laughs> <laughs> it's in stereo from the married couple. <laughs> Roll me perception. <laughs> <laughs> She's just uh, kind of holding it. <laughs> and what's Arnith's reaction? <laughs> That's all you can tell. She's just holding the uh, the bouquet. Is that the Orla called bouquet? Yes. Oh, no, oh yeah. Sorry. I just just kind of. She's. It is kind of hard to get reading on what she's thinking right now, to be honest. <laughs> Even with the 21? Oh, the 21. Uh, yeah, Jeremiah, you can tell she's screaming internally. <laughs> <laughs> you know well, what? If you, if, you, if you want, I can take that off your hands for now. No, no Jeremiah, that will be all right. Storm's actually going to awaken mind and message to Orla. I think Ardith would very much appreciate that bouquet. She's very interested in the marriage thing. <laughs> Maybe you could explain it to her. It's significant. Oh my god. <laughs> Who do you think showed her the storybook? <laughs> and... <laughs> we are such <laughs> bastards, Steeper Ardith. <laughs> Like, uh, he won't make you happy! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Adith's just kind of doing the... You just see her eyes going from side to side inside the mask. <laughs> <laughs> you know we love you, Ardith. <laughs> well, yeah, the ceremony continues on, and you receive your blessing. Hell yeah. Plus two to AC for one week. Woo! Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Yep. <laughs> at, at least, at least the wedding's not going like uh, our ceremonies back home go. It's usually. Are there trolls pub. involved? <laughs> no. Why would there be trolls? No. Just coming on a gag, Jeremiah. Jeez. <laughs> it's just that. Uh, um, well, it, there's a few more punches being thrown. Nah, I'd rather drink some punch, not throw a punch at a wedding. Mm. Oh, oh, the drinking's there as well. It's just that, uh, they, uh, 
they punch someone who is representing all who said they would not get married at all. It's like hmm. it's like driving away bad spirits or something. Hmm. Yeah, I just pulled that out of uh, somewhere. <laughs> D D Beyond has a way to actually add in the extra AC. <laughs> oh yes. <laughs> more and more incentive for me to finally start using that damn thing. <laughs> I'm just gonna say, like, at some point, Sammy will probably see a shadow loom over him as Stormlight kind of swoops in, picks him up, and gives him a big hug. <laughs> Ah, thank you, my friend. I really owe you one. For, I really owe you for this. You did excellently. Yeah, you're awesome, Sammy. You're welcome. <laughs> I feel all warm and fuzzy. <laughs> Me too! My stool's practically bouncing on the spot. <laughs> Probably jostling poor Sammy a bit. <laughs> Alright, the best guess I better put you down. So, we're married now. And Bolt and Midi officially have a new mama and papa, respectively. Does that mean I'm this... now squish upon the sea? I mean, if you want to be. Ah, think about it. <laughs> hey, whatever you want to be is a okay with me. I love you all the same. Yeah. Right, well then, now that we've done that, what's our next move? I hate to go back to being all business, but, uh, you know, with Sune lurking in the background, kind of want to get on with business before she pulls some shit. <laughs> Well, uh, we have to, we want to bring something. <clears throat> uh, we, uh, uh, sorry, thought I'd seen something. <clears throat> um, uh, well, we had to, we still have, uh, have to deal with the, uh, with the giant situation. Oh yeah, that much goes without saying. So, do, shall we check in with the Dragon's Guard? See if they're ready for us? I'm fairly certain that someone will want to congratulate you. It... I feel like Jeremiah is implying someone in particular. <laughs> well, uh, I mean... There is a jolly old friend of mine. Well, friend. Hmm. Ah, Mr. About... Bing. Yes, Mr. Bing. Oh, I thought you meant the friend from, like, the next squish, like, points down below. No, uh, she's not necessarily the happiest person in the world, unfortunately. I think Squish was implying Aquanox. I wasn't talking about the, the mean lady. Yeah, I get the feeling uh, like the Wind Walker wouldn't care, Jeremiah. Yeah, that's what I was implying. She wouldn't <laughs> care. She would I, I probably say, to okay, you know, off. Sorry, Janice, what was that? The, the devil guy. The guy who, like, he's oh, trying oh. to be our friend, but we're supposed to not trust him, but he's actually kind of an alright dude. Oh, oh you mean Mr... The... Yeah, Sam. Yeah. yeah. Oh, he's a god. I'm sure they're all aware right now. I mean, they will be pretty... <clears throat> pretty soon. I'm fairly ah. certain. <laughs> Yeah, all right there. You kind of like broke up your sentences. Yeah, I'm. A, I'm. 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 I, I might be a little bit. A uh, little bit. Uh, 
um, overwhelmed, I mean. How do you think we feel? <laughs> uh, and Jeremiah's looking... Uh, looking over to the side. Um, In Saito, something is amiss. I got a 23. <laughs> okay, Jeremiah. Uh, what was that insight? Say, oh well, Jeremiah's distracted by by something that he his eye his eyes uh, dart to to a corner uh, to a side um, most of the time. So uh, that might be what's distracting him. That's so vague for a twenty-three. <laughs> yeah, but he doesn't know better. <laughs> okay. That there's nothing that he knows that I didn't give you. Okay. Okay. Well, nothing, nothing that he could tell you. Okay. Okay, I think we're burning daylight at this point. Let's head up to the Dragon's Guard and at least let Bing know the happy news. And uh, Stroll's going to head over to Felicia super quick. I have to say, thank you for uh, attending the ceremony. I'm sure it was very fascinating for you. Oh, yes, it was indeed. Normally, there's a lot more pomp and circumstance and preparation, but uh, we got things to do, the adventurous life and all that. Of course, but as your friend suggested, you could always have a more elaborate ceremony at a later date. Maybe when all this is said and done. <sighs> we'll see, eh, Squish? I think that would be a good idea. Invite your dad and, and a little grain. Oh, yeah. You better let her know. I probably should. Uh, mm -hmm. Squish rummages in her bag, pulls out the card. Uh, hey, you! This is gonna oh, be great. Was, I apologize. One second. I just need to allow the signal to leave the room. Yeah, you're gonna need to try the coin again. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, hang on. Uh, terrible reception in this room. Uh, uh, hey, you. Uh, this is Squish. After Squish. What? What? What was? It? Is? Is this important? I'm kind of in the middle of something. Uh, I got married. You. You what? Get that bloody thing off my ship now! Uh, sorry, Squish. Like I said, kind of. You. You got married. Yeah, <laughs> it was kind of short notice though, so we couldn't get, we couldn't invite you, but we're gonna have a bigger service later. Well, that's, well, that, that's fine. Oh my god, get that tentacle off me! Uh... So, sorry about, sorry, squish. Kind of, like I said, you sound a little tied up, so I'll, I'll let you go. Uh, yeah, I will see you soon. I'm gonna go fight some fire giants. Bye. <laughs> Just hang <laughs> off with that. <laughs> um, excuse me, Ark, if you don't mind. Uh, how many people are in the room? At the moment, we are currently we currently only have eight people in this room. But I have allowed certain deific presences to offer an insight. It is, after all, how Bahamut's influence was able to enter this room. So I wasn't seeing things, sir. Uh... Uh, what okay. are you talking about, Jeremiah? I just said seeing a little bit of... Um... Of uh, well, I, I I'm not certain how to describe it. Golden mist might probably be the best description. Golden mist, you say? Where did you see it exactly? Uh, over there. And he points uh, in the direction where his eyes were darting. Okay. So say, gonna... this, is, this corner is equivalent about fifty feet away. 
be on the tabaxi then, so that's not really much of a problem. <laughs> no! Yeah, don't... you don't find anything there. Okay, so several things. The, the power to see through godly deceptions doesn't reveal anything, presuming? Nope. Okay. Um, let's try a good old-fashioned detect magic. Anything? Oh, wait, I'm in the center of art. This fi it's probably going to go a bit wild. <laughs> no, it's not picking anything up. Other than okay. the stuff you already know about. Mm. Okay, and just to be safe then, just for the um, sake of being a completionist more than anything, i got a primeval awareness humanoids. Just, just to be safe. Mm, no. Nothing. Okay. Nope. The storm's gonna noom right back on over. Yeah, sorry, Jeremiah. I did everything I could, but as far as I can tell, there's nothing over there. Well, uh, yeah, I, I was, I was wondering if I was uh, imagining things. I mean, <laughs> hey, I don't blame you, man. Like. The whole thing with Sune has got us all on edge all the time, especially after, you know, not too long yeah. ago. Yeah, but I don't think she would disguise herself as, uh, Golden Mist. She, uh, from, uh, what I... What I think of no, her... I... Can Squish do a religion check to see if she knows of any gods that appear in gold, as a Golden Mist? You can try. It oh, shit. You can't think of any gods that would appear as a golden mist. I'm hearing a loud but. Nope, no buts. What? Can I make a religion check as well? Yep. Just in case. Though Squish's modifier is actually higher than mine. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Nope. Well, for sure. What about creatures? Is that a nature check or an arcana check or anything? Uh, I would say nature check. Oh, no, that I can do. <laughs> you can you... do it. It's not today. You think, but you can't think of anything in particular that would appear here. Now come on everyone, let's not slip back into old habits of fret over every little detail. Today is a happy day! Yes, although I do believe someone is attempting to gain entry into the room. What?! Uh, who is it? I don't know, but she's been banging up to her for the last five minutes. Oh, um... How's there? Let's go, let's go to the door and shout. <laughs> Okay, Squish, you go towards the door, and it slides open as you look straight into the chest. Uh-oh. <laughs> Where is she in the thing? I can't find her. <laughs> I can't remember where I put her information. Oh no. <laughs> Shit! <laughs> well, if it's there someone's she is. chest, then someone's short. Ah! No! Ah! Oh! <laughs> uh, finally, oh. I've been trying to get in there for the last five minutes. And anyway. Ah. Hi. Well, I, well, I am the god. It is my purview as goddess of love to ensure your marriage is blessed. Uh, we already had Bahamut take care of it. Roll insight. <laughs> this. That I don't funny. really need to roll insight to see the fury blowing up, but okay. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, she's kind of got that sort of <laughs> expression. Uh. Jeremiah, there's no need to be rude. Uh. No, it's just... true. You have unfortunately just missed the ceremony, Lady Sune. Oh, do not worry. I have a little surprise planned for you two later. But uh, for now, I shall need to enjoy yourselves. Happy <laughs> and tough. She kind of just tops out of existence. I do not like the sound of that. Yep. At least you <laughs> see, she. At least she seemed to have worked out some of her dress. Uh, what do we do about this? There's not much we can do except wait for Sune's surprise. And hang your hand over those rings. Drink. Drinks? Drinks sound like a good idea right now. Yeah, On the plus yeah. side, now we don't have to go like skulking about for the rest of the day. Yeah. Yes, Storm, again. Maybe an idea to hand out those rings. Ah, yes. The one I... that Owen gave you. As I understood it, everyone already had their own. Yeah. Yes. Oh, so I've already got... Right, never mind. Yeah, yeah, we all have them. Uh, are the... Uh, did, did, did you forget to put yours on? Oh, oh, uh, yes, sorry. It, uh... Uh, it's fine, Ard, if I understand. Your mind's on other things. Yes, uh, bear in mind I was under a lot of stress of time. Mm-hmm, understood. Sure, sure. sure. But yes, keep those rings on your person at all times, everyone. Yes, uh, given that she's uh, put herself right in the middle of the picture. We should be careful. Ah, yeah, we should be on our way. Indeed. Uh, Ark, just wanted to yes. say thank you for the lovely venue. You really outdid yourself. I'm glad you approve. It doesn't. It's very rare I get to alter my inner chambers. Ah, is it something you'd like to do more often? I prefer to serve Captain Anarchy's preference. She seems to prefer me as I am. Ah, okay, okay, understood. Well, I'm pretty sure Captain Anarchy will. Enjoy finding some other excuse to fancy the place up every now and then. <laughs> you bet. <laughs> now that right she knows right. that you can, now that she knows that you can uh, spruce up the place, I wouldn't be surprised to see you uh, redecorating every now and then. I look forward to it. Okay, well, friends, so family, shall we get going? Just the moment, Jeremiah. So Storm's gonna like head back to Phoenicia. Sorry about that divine interruption. We have them occasionally around here. <laughs> it's quite all right. I just wanted to say again, thank you for attending, and uh, you can rest assured I won't keep Bolt away from you for too long. But he and his old man have got one more adventure to have together. You know what I mean? Yes, I am aware. Mm -hmm. We're gonna make someone pay for daring to mess with us, aren't we, Bolt? <laughs> ah. mm -hmm. That fucker has pissed off everyone. Gods and people. And then, and then he had the goal to fuck with our father. And his beautiful son, the Sovereign of the Skies. So we're going to make him regret that decision, aren't we, Bolt? Bolt is nodding. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's good to have you back, son. It's not been the same without you. Affectionate nuzzling occurs. Oh. Right then. Lady Phoenicia, hope you enjoy the, best of your day, uh, the rest of your day. I think I shall. 
Till we meet again. All right, everybody. Let's go. We got work to do. Okay. You all make your way back out onto the quayside and make your way towards the castle. Sorry. You take the train up, do not too long. I just get the impression that Storm and Squish are extra close and like practically cuddly every step of the way, like their tails are like tied up the entire time. Yep. Yep. Oh, these two are precious. <laughs> that they are. That they are. Like, we play them and I think we're dying. <laughs> <laughs> we're cutting die. ourselves to death oh no I'm not allowed to die ever you said so yourself <laughs> okay you make it, you show inside and you're brought up to the main office Polite knocking on the door. Okay, just one second. Um, yeah, just trying to sort some out very quickly. You are shown inside the office. Wolfard is there. Uh, he's kind of working on something behind one of the desks. Um, Vedek is. Sat there as well, and Bing's got his own little chair. Mm. Uh, Bed Kyle's up with us. And how can I help you? Well, we were wondering if there, if we had, there was a guide ready to take us up the mountain. We're all rested oh, up, nice. all yes, together, yes. and we're ready to go. Ah, uh, supplies are taking a little longer than we thought to get hold of. Uh, we should have them ready for tomorrow. Okay. So we have one more day, and then we're ready to go? Yes, we will come to your ship and deliver supplies to you direct. All right, all right, understood. Well, I suppose that's basically the gist of our business then, but, uh, Master Bing. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> Jeremiah thought you might like to know, and we would have thought you might like to know that me and my lovely lady Squish here have just gotten married. Yeah. And Storm just oh, affectionately cut the hair. Yeah, like Storm practically just both, puts both his hand Bing up. And, yeah, both Sorry. Bing and Wolf, uh, Wolf I'd get up and shake your hands. Oh! Nice to hear, my friends. Nice to hear, indeed. Oh, oh thank you, gentlemen. Thank you. <laughs> I have a question if you... If you are uh, very well versed in things about gods and creatures that roam well this area, you might be able to help me with something that's a little bit confounding. That has been a little bit. Oh confounding. yes, yes, of course, uh, Mister Underman. How how can I help you? Um, well, during the ceremony, or rather, slightly after that, I spotted some. Golden mist in a room where, well, it sounds this shouldn't be there. suspicious. It sounds like that was a uh, dragon's eye. Possibly, I'm assuming that it was uh, Master Morningstar who performed the ceremony. Yes. Ah, uh, yes, it was probably uh, Lord Bahamut's presence. Oh, really? That we, that should have occurred to us. Golden dust. <laughs> Probably know it could have been Holly Scry doing the magic eye thing. That would have been possible as well. Though I'm fairly certain um uh she's busy. So I'm just kind of like just gets this shitty and grin. Oh yeah, I bet she is. <laughs> 
<laughs> I mean, you don't learn how to fly in, well, a fortnight. I was more referring to the handsome Prince Faz, but sure, let's go with that. How about a little bit of both? <laughs> well, he ah. always was an impetuous boy, so... <laughs> I'm presuming that was Wolfgard. Yeah, that was Wolfgard. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm presuming you've met them? Well, of course. I mean, Crankendorfing is my brother. Well, Ooh. not brother as in same parents, but brother in the sense of we stood together against Nikofod. Mm-hmm. Ah, brother so in arms. So I'm mm. uh, Pretty much. I mean, we are both ancient worm, great worms, so... Brothers in Bahamas as well, so... It's just a pity that uh, myself and Crank and Kendavinga are the only ones who stayed in contact with each other. The other three have uh, all vanished. Really? With no yeah, clue? Well, I know that our silver brother dis disappeared up the north, heading towards the Shadowlands. Something to do with the frost dragons up there. Rather fascinating creatures, actually. Neither chromatic nor metallic. I can only assume weird. that what is it? Yeah, so they only showed up when he went up there. Still, I don't cast aspersions on what he's been up to. Uh, I know that one of them headed. I know the other two headed to towards the east, towards Australia, but that's about it. Well, I was going to offer to keep an eye out for them, but it might be some time before I head in the general direction of Australia. <laughs> um, I'm sure that they'll make themselves known when the time comes. Should it it's hoping for the best. Indeed, and for you too as well. Oh, yeah. We're going to make the best of every day, aren't we, Squish? <laughs> Just as long as soon it doesn't try well, to ruin indeed it. I... Well, indeed, I hope I do wish you both uh, good luck. And as I say, we will have the supplies sent to you as soon as possible. Thank you. Thank you on both counts. Much appreciated, gentlemen. The sheer amount of people we... that are wishing us luck has me very concerned about what the future is going to hold. The future is always going to have challenges, Squish. But I know that we're, like, tough enough to meet them. I mean, I, do I need to remind you of the time, again, that you turned a goat man to paste against my abs? Because that was very hot. Yeah. <laughs> He's never going to let that moment go. <laughs> wow, he hurt Mitty. He deserved it. Mm-hmm. Damn straight. That's what I mean. No one is gonna, like, keep us held down. Not Goatman, not Harrowmount, not Sune. You hear me? Mm, yeah. But yes, let's not take up uh, the, these fine gentlemen's entire day. Ah, we shall see you later, gents. Indeed, I look forward to it. <laughs> Bye! Uh, <laughs> Bye. Yep. And we make our exit. Okay. So, what are you going to do now? Well, uh, we got a bit of a free day. So it would appear. Ah, what do we want to do? What time is it now, Seth? Uh, I would say it's around about 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Ah. The weather like today? Uh, it's, it's decently sunny. It's not too blazing hot. Ah, the breeze is keeping things cool, but it's fairly sunny. Ah, it sounds like that perfect sweet spot to me. 
Well, um, there was a beach. I believe you mentioned a beach last yes, session. Yes, there is a beach outside of the city walls. Well, uh, how about we just take it easy by the beach? You know, sounds nice for a change, to just relax. Uh, I don't have a bathing suit, though. Neither do I. I mean, we can go get some. <laughs> I mean, there's a perfectly good tailors. We know they're damn fine. Um, Look, I <laughs> think Ardeth would prefer not to go into, not to have. I, well, no, no. Ever, we we we'll go to the beach. We we'll go to the beach. You know, you... guys, guys, guys. Just in case it's not clear, you don't have to take your clothes off. <laughs> I literally just mean we go to the beach and enjoy ourselves. No shenanigans, just a nice time. Well, we might as well go the whole hog. That it. Nice to see you getting into it. <laughs> okay, you make your way back down into the city. Towards the street artificers. And you go back to that little halfling tailor shop. <laughs> Good afternoon! Oh, it's nice to see you again so soon. <laughs> Aye! Turns out we got a bit more free time before we have to get to work. Aye, uh, and what, uh, what were you thinking of? Ah, uh, we would like some... Uh... Bathing suits, swim gear. We're headed to the beach uh, to relax. Yeah, I see. Mm -hmm. You watch as Shea very quickly sorts you all out. Comes about five gold in total for everyone. So that's like as a whole? Yeah, yeah that's as a whole. That out of the party funds. Okay, good, because I have platinum pieces. <laughs> I think she would have been able to give you change. Yeah, I know, but fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> you know rightly uh, Storm would have handed over the platinum piece and said keep the change. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> okay, you all get sorted out, and you make your way along the street and out the gates. Just gonna say, so Squish has got like the 1920s yep. uh, striped swimsuit. <laughs> Seth, nice. before we carry on with this, there's something uh, I would have liked Storm to do super quick. Because the jewelers yep. is on the same street, basically. Yep. Uh, uh, long story short, I want to buy more diamonds for uh, Revivify, because I think we only have, like, two. And I'm stinking rich, so if we could top okay. up on those, that would be fantastic. I would say you're able to buy five for... 10 platinum. Ooh, yep, storm will hand over that. Wait, yeah, I got these drunk. What's he buying? Uh, diamonds. diamonds. Oh, yeah, good idea. It's Very good idea. 20 GP of diamond, isn't it? Pretty much. Uh, <sighs> so, storm will thank the dwarven fellow. Hmm? And he's I'm basically going to. Hmm. And uh, he's going to hand those diamonds right over to Samuel. Said they owed you one, my friend. Put these to good use, hmm? Nicey. Sorry. Storm has bought and handed over five diamonds to you. All right, then. For Revivify. Thank you, Storm. Hey, it's the least I could do with everything you've done for us uh, the past couple of days. We really appreciate you, buddy. I don't think we tell you that enough. And I know you'll put these to good use. Hmm. Keep on saving lives. And speaking of lives, mm -hmm. let's live ours! Beach time! Yep. You make your way to the beach. It's, uh... Fairly busy. You know, there's a... There's enough space, but yeah, it's a fairly busy beach. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. 
you find a little changing booth set up just at the edge of the sand. Yeah, proceed to get changed. I presume I don't need to tell you guys that Storm is wearing ye old fantasy speedo. <laughs> I'm not, going, I'm, I'm not going to tell you that Jeremiah is wearing a mankini, but he's wearing a mankini. <laughs> Which leaves little to the imagination. Oh god, he's so hairy. I know, but um, that's not a turnoff. <laughs> you could braid his back hair. Samuel, what does your swimsuit look like? Um... Not sure. I mean, if you want, it's just swimming trunks. Yeah, I'll just kind of go with that. Just basic swimming trunks. Mm -hmm. Okay. I can picture Sammy uh, as the one who doesn't want to swim in just like cargo shorts and a t-shirt with just that little strip of sun lotion across their snit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And Ardith kind of comes out bashfully wearing a very small bikini. <clears throat> Storm fights mm -hmm. the urge to wolf whistle and just sells for looking good, Ardith! Gives her a thumbs up. Thank you. Uh... <laughs> we should have brought towels. I'm sure we can get some. Yeah, you find some, you find a like a rental lounge or sort of place. It's not not towels exactly, but it's like a cushion on the lounges, so should be okay. That works. There was a different uh, idea behind the towels, so that Ardith could cover herself up if she wants to. But uh, uh, Ardith, if you want, uh, you can have. Uh, if if you're feeling a little bit chilly, you can have uh, well my my vest my vest. Uh, it's not much. It's but... my jammer, besides I I still have my cloak in the bag. So all right, I I just noticed that uh, you seem to be a little bit uh, out of practice. It's saying some getting used to. Yeah. In all seriousness, the fact that you're trying these things is very big and very important. So, you know, I'm proud of you, to be perfectly honest. These are big steps. Yeah, you're letting well, yourself have fun. It's great. Well, things are different now, so... Absolutely. There's so many new things for you to try. So, what are you going to be up to on the beach? <laughs> we shall be building sand castles and swimming with Midi. Excellent. Oh, much the same. Storm is going to pitch in with that. Play with the boys along the waves. I'm sure Bolt will like also enjoy a bit of a splashy, splashy fun times, particularly if he spots a fish. And I'm sure he will yeah. eventually. Roll mm. me, roll me a perception check for Bolt. Yeah. Oh, it's good to roll for Bolt again. Twenty-two. Yep, he spots one. Roll me a dexterity. Oh, <laughs> eight. Ooh, you got lucky on that one. Yeah, he just swoops down and scoops up a fish. <laughs> and you know, because it's like, you know, a phoenix now, and his talons literally cause fire damage. I have the feeling like he's managing, he's managing to cook the fish himself before eating it. Yep. <laughs> That's yep. amazing. Doesn't he need to you didn't even need to stand there with a uh, spit. <laughs> nice. Rolling it with his talons. Oh, He's producing yeah. fish fingers. <laughs> oh, Threading and all. 
Bolt's very, very happy. He's going to enjoy his meal. <clears throat> and just keep... Uh, that's... Yeah, no, that's Bolt all over. He's having a splashy splashy. He's having meals. And when he gets tired, imagine he'll eventually just find a perch and just chill out in the sun. He kind of perches on top of Ardus lounge, isn't she? She's not... She's kind of lying there, not really mm-hmm, mm-hmm. sure what to do. Oh, bless. <laughs> And yeah, like I said, like Storm will be playing with Squish and Midi. And I don't know, maybe he squishes up for it later. He'll get some lotion and give her a nice rub. <laughs> <laughs> make, her, make her feel all shiny and uh, nice. Rub me, rub me. Yup, yup. <laughs> Say that you love me. <laughs> I'm, I'm fairly certain Jeremiah's working on getting a farm, getting his tan. Going a little bit overboard and getting a little bit of a sunburn. Okay, I'd say you spend the next, spend a couple of hours at the beach, then make your way back to the hotel for a nice meal. At some point, she and... would have put on her cap of uh, water breathing, and just her and store her and her and midnight would have went exploring the underwater areas. Yeah, have a you have a fun little afternoon. It's about eight o'clock by the time you've packed up and left the beach. I just realised something. I yep. have to do this. Indulge me. It's slightly twisting what the spell can do, but I'd like to imagine at some point Storm would use control water, because it has a pretty large area of effect, I believe like 500 feet, to basically make yep. slides out of water for not only us to enjoy, but for anyone else who wants to get in on that. Yeah. Yeah, everyone seems to be enjoying themselves. Yeah, that that's that's oh, that's wholesome. I invented the water park. Woo! <laughs> I'd say it's about nine o'clock before you get to the hotel. Uh, you have a nice, nice, fair, not expensive meal, but a nice meal. And it's. Are you going to stay at the hotel again tonight, or...? Oh, yeah, because Storm will have to pay again for tonight. Only paid for two days. Oh, uh, fair enough. I mean, I mean, we could go to... I think uh, the rest of us go back to the ship. Yes, we'll go back to the ship. And you, if you're all you okay yourself. with that. Oh, we will. Uh, you, it is your honeymoon, after all, so... <laughs> oh, yes. We get honey. This house was all this said. I mean, if I you know, want honey. You got all the tried to explain it to me. I made no sense whatsoever. Why it's called that, but. Oh, okay. It, well... it, it's because love is sweet as honey, I believe. Oh, that makes sense. All right, Mitty, you be good for Orla again, okay? Oh. Hey, Bob. Keep you an st- eye on him. Hey, Bob, you stick by your bro, hmm? Ah. Wow. Storm's just going to give his son a big hug and a nuzzle again, just so happy that he's back. It's so good to see you again, boy. You're the best boy there is! Yep. Bolt affectionately nuzzles back. Aww. And Bolt will just hop over and perch on midnight as they head off. Yep, yep. the rest of the party made their way back to Ark. And the two of you are left alone in your suite. I believe it was two platinum a night. Yes, it was. Okay, strike two more platinum off. Well, now we're married, hmm? I thought I would feel different, de- but I don't. It's kind of weird. I don't know what I was expecting. I don't, I don't know. I feel pretty different. I got a big, warm, fuzzy feeling in my chest. Uh, yeah, but I get that all the time when I'm next to you. Then you're feeling exactly how you're meant to feel. The idea of marriage is that that feeling will never go away. Ah, I like that. I hope it works out that way for you, because I know... I'm sure as hell... Sorry, I'm getting my words mixed up. It's been quite a day. I sure as hell know that I'm. it's always going to feel that way for me. No. So, how about I put all this boundless energy to use, hmm? It is our honeymoon, after all. I have to put an extra effort tonight. The bunny outfit is still here. Do you want me to put on the bunny outfit? 
<laughs> and fade to black. I'm, I'm talking about the yes! Okay. <laughs> you both enjoy your honeymoon and you doze off for the night. You wake up, however, in a very different room. Uh oh. Is this one for. I'm just gonna keep this one for convenience's sake. As you happen to realize that. You're both now sat on the bed in an unfamiliar room uh. with some very, very different clothing. Oh, it's happened! I was only this week. <laughs> oh, play the game. I would hey, say hey, probably I'm... Sammy just immediately improvising a wedding ceremony. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, I was going to give it icy. icy no, it's yeah. not an easy task. It is not. It is not. Thanks, everyone. <laughs> Fail of a game. Did we really have one? I don't think we did. Everyone <laughs> did well. <laughs> Any thoughts, theories, or ideas? It's happened! It's finally happened! <laughs> this has been foreshadowed <laughs> for nearly a year! It's finally happened! I have been sat on that artwork from our wonderful artist friend Divilo for the last six months or so. Could tell how old it is! Storm isn't monstrously buff! Mm. <laughs> But it is not well, the cheese version. The... I uh, literally uh, grabbed the version was to hand. So. <laughs> <laughs> it's still referred to in the chat in the logs as the cheese. <laughs> the cheese. <laughs> the cheese. We, we are in for a wild ride. Yes, I mean, we are. If you have been summoned there, the rest of the party might be pulled in as well. Well, I should hope so. That was the point of the Rings of Anchorage. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> so. I forgot that I down... named them that. Mm. So, going down the list, it is a good night from Cock. Good night, everyone. Wear a mask. Wash your hands and make certain that if there is a curfew, follow the fucking curfew. A good night from Icy. Good night, everybody. A good night from Jonas. I don't like this. I don't like this at all. Ah. Good night. <laughs> a, good, a good night from Cuba. Good night, everyone. What's with the wind? <laughs> I already have hair. I don't need more. <laughs> and a good night from me. Good night. Listen to how good giddy night. he is. Listen to how giddy he is. Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> good night. He's been looking forward to this. <laughs> bye bye.